Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trophynut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Last time we got ourselves a, a nice upgrade in our armor and our weapons, so we're now carrying and wearing the enhanced griffin weapons and armor. And today we're back in Novigrad and we're gonna do a few side quests. I'm gonna start off with following the tread. There have been a slew of murders near the bits in Novigrad, just outside of the city. And, uh, well, we're, gonna, we're here to solve them. Don't like folk wandering around here. So I know Mr. Guard. Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Huh. Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Okay then, and can I talk to this supervisor? I'd like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he... Uh... Okay. Supervises. Exactly. <laughs> so it doesn't do anything as I see it. But, hey, maybe I can hunt this beast down. I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry, then some other bloke's already after it. We are Witcher. So I am a Witcher, but me personally is I'm not a Witcher, but Geralt is a Witcher, so. Information, information, information. Um so someone else is already going after it. Who? Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. Okay then. Um anyone have a look at this monster? Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the body. So it could be just a man the beast then. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Hmm. And why do you think it's a beast then? But where's the last attack? When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in the shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Okay then. So we'll have to start our investigation over there then. So thank you for the information. Thanks. So long. Mr. Guard. Um... So let's go to the crime scene. They all seem to be convinced that it's a creature, but since nobody ever saw anything happening, might as well be a simple murderer as well. Okay, can't seem to be able to enter that building from over here. So this door? Yeah, okay. Okay, those claw marks do indicate that's something big. Not the marks of a carcane or a flutter. Those are big. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. Wounded by what exactly? Blood's all sucked out. Unless they're vampire. Oh, interesting. But it did change into a big one, so it must be must have been an Ekimara or a Katakan or something like that. Let's follow the tracks. Okay. Wouldn't be so pale with the onions and oil. Just walk through this little village and then jumped into the water apparently. There we go. I don't really see anything on the other side. Um Okay then. The tracks led in this direction, but must have missed something. Maybe there's spots of blood. Or do I actually have to examine that? Here. Ought to look for prints on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks. I was planning on doing that, but you wouldn't let me. But hey, let's continue on the other side. Don't really see any tracks right now. Ah, over here. Wait, what? Rat corpses. Not a drop of blood left in them. Gotta be an Ekimara. 
Great. Um, let's save first. And then let's see about that Akimara now, shall we? Okay. Sounds like it's upstairs. Who the fuck is this? Oh, it's Lambert! So Lambert is also a witcher from uh, the Wolf School. Hit me! Hit me, hit me, hit me. Hit me. That thing is big. That was just in time. So according to the bestiary, vampire oil and uh, igni should work best. Although I haven't yet succeeded in setting it on fire. Leave it alone, leave it alone. There it is. Okay. Hello, Lambert. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? Far as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. Okay. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. I was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. Okay, and do you need help with that specific matter that you don't want to explain to me? The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kind of in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Oh, that's a uh, friendly. Let's go. Let's go. In hindsight, I might have lost my Akimara loot so, now, but what do you think? Never mind. We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here. I'll go see the supervisor. Get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Smart Go man. Thank you. I'm wondering if the supervisor is also we a dealt with familiar the face. At the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. That was hinting I at something. You to change your tone. Where's Yad Keridin? Talk. Oh. Okay. Um. Don't like either of those responses, but. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before you I lose my temper. Don't look Where's that scary. Karadin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! Well, you can try. Oh, great. Now I have to deal with those guards. You son of a... And now they're all on fire! There he goes. Lambert, where the hell are you? Oh, he fled this inside a house. That's not really smart. 
Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others, too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. Uh-oh. Ooh. I would have asked him to stay his hand, but no option. Okay. That was murder. Was that really necessary? Yes. Okay, then. Show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern Vienne frequents? Yeah, see you later. Okay, then. Not a lot of explanation to go on. Let's drink ourselves some swallow. And, uh, well, I guess I see you guys at the Seven Cats Inn. So, the Seven Cats Inn isn't that far off. It's uh, near that guy we got the documents from for that dwarf, if you remember that. And here's Lambert. Alright, high time you explained some things. Why do you kill Oh, look at Kitty Cat. Cat. What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Um, yeah, I want to hear everything. Let me hear the whole thing. And so does the audience. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend. <laughs> oh, you're fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the school of the cat. Okay, then. As far as I remember, the ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. No uh, offense taken. But uh, what happened to the guy? What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Okay then, if you say so. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Actually it sounds like a romantic interest for uh, Lambert. Door, so a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And he had Keridin? The assassin's leader, and the one to deal the mortal blow. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy, just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Okay, lead the way. So this went from a vampire contract to Vienne. a murder plot. Keep your blouse you? closed. We want to see Yad Keridin. <laughs> now why would I help you? Um, because we're asking nicely. It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. It's a good start, no? I was part of Caradin's band, but none was that. I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. Okay, what do you mean by that? Caradin's changed. What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. And you're drunk. So, uh, who were your compadres? Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund. But they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tresigal, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund. 
Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Slings to talk to then. Um, well, that might be a problem since we can't get to Tretagor if I remember, and Skellige is out of reach for now. So, um. Let's ask what for a bit more you? information. What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces, but I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt's You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Well, glad you didn't answer that with a yes, because he might have got at you right there on the spot. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh whence he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. Okay, and Salise? This Salise. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tretagor, the kind rich men frequent. Or suck information out of them. Then she sells Nice it. use of words. The name of this brothel. The Black Lily. Salise always did have horrible taste. Okay, and the other members? How do we contact them? Satisfied. She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Salise. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... Um... Hmm. Do what you think is right? Do whatever you think's right, Lambert. Not here to preach morals. <laughs> Do what you think is right? Only one thing worse than cold-blooded murder. Hypocrisy. I don't think he's gonna murder you in this place. Informers, racist snitches! Vienne, bloody hell, what is it? They've come for me, Baron! I told you someone would! Sooner or later! Nessa Ter. Shit. Yeah, that wasn't the something I intended, but... Full of ire. No would let the for drink. That's two less. And there goes another one. Wasn't really what I expected, but hey. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Salise. Well, I could do that, but um, we need to talk first. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Okay then, that's a bit of a problem. Butcher when I grow up. Um, go to Faro and look for Hammond, because that is in Skellige, isn't it? And I don't want to do Skellige yet. Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay, this is... What the hell? Okay. It's really far off in Skellige on an island. So this is kind of weird since this quest is actually for level 9, so I'm actually already over leveled, but you shouldn't be in Skellige until a certain point. So I'm going to pause this quest, it's the first time I'm going to do this, and we're going to come back to it at a later moment. So for right now, to fill up the rest of the episode, I'm going to do a little a little tiny side quest, I mean, that I left uh, around. It's uh, to collect a reward from the King of Beggars for uh, freeing that halfling, Rico. 
when we were uh, chasing, uh, I think we were chasing Horse and Junior at the time, and we found that Halfling strung up in uh, the casino, I think. So now we're gonna head to the King of Beggars and see if we can get a reward from him, and that will uh, tidy up this episode nicely. So see you there in a minute. Open up. So I'm back in the Putrid Grove. I'm gonna pay the King of Baggers a visit, and hopefully we get a little something for our trouble. Maybe some more information as well. Hello, Bedlam, I think his name was. Hi. Um, save one of your men. You should pick your men more carefully. Rico blew his cover like a novice. Yeah, he told me. And I told him to leave town. Most likely promised I'd reward you, didn't he? So he said. Take you it. might have. Oh, thanks. Okay. That was apparently it. So, uh, hopefully it was enough for you guys for one episode, because I am going to take a little break right now. Um, so, uh, anyways, thank you guys enormously for watching. Honor Among Thieves complete. And we will get back to that other quest. Uh, following the Tread, I think the name was. When we... Uh, get to Skellige at some point so thank you guys enormously for watching if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on YouTube and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate that so thank you guys again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or stream goodbye